Okay, this is as this is as good as it's gonna get. Yeah. Boom. Oh. No, you're always so beautiful. You have to say that. Why? Because you're my husband. No, I'm 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 serious. Hey fam, what's up? It's April. Welcome to a new video. Today we are doing a book haul that is all the books that I've acquired over the last couple of months. Sorry, the glare on my glasses is really annoying. Also, Luna says hi. And sorry, the sun is like coming in and out. It's a really weird, cloudy day. But the reason why I didn't do a book haul every month over the last couple of months is because I didn't have enough books to do that. So this year, I don't know if I've really talked about it, but this year I've set myself a limit of books that I can buy and that is a maximum of three books per month and so far that's been going swimmingly apart from the Lifeline Book Fest in January where I bought like 20 books but that's different any all so for the past two months I have four physical books but one hasn't arrived yet and one ebook so five books in total that I've purchased myself over the last two months and then I have a book that was sent to me from Bloomsbury, I have Alcrate and Alcrate Junior books, and then I have some gifts that were sent to me from an Amazon wish list. So let's get into it. We'll start with the books that I purchased myself. So, first we have Heartstopper Volume 3 by Alvis Oseman. Oh my gosh, so pure, so precious. Will I ever not gush about this series? Probably not. And you probably all know what it's about by now. It's a webcomic that got picked up to be printed and it is a male-male romance about these two boys in the UK in high school and it's adorable. Then of course we have Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. This is my favourite book of the year so far. I know, I've put it out in the world, it's a thing. So I've obviously read this already. This is the latest instalment in the Shadowhunter Chronicles. It's the first book in a new series. But you kind of have to have read like all the other Shadowhunter books before you read this. But it's just perfection. Absolute perfection. And then also on the same day, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah Jane Mass came out. And I also read this in March. I'll leave my wrap up for March in the cards so you can check out my detailed thoughts on these books. Sarah Jane Mass is probably my favourite author, but this is my least favourite book of hers so far. I gave it three stars. It's an adult urban fantasy that is just entirely too long. <laughs> but anyway, if you want more of my thoughts, you can check out my wrap up or my written review on Goodreads. Okay, the book that has not arrived yet is Imagine Me by Tahir Amafi. Um, I pre-ordered this. It came out like two weeks ago, but of course delivery times have been very delayed uh, due to the virus. So I'm still waiting on my copy to arrive. Two weeks late, but it's Fine. But to sort of go along with that, the ebook that I purchased in the last couple of months is Find Me by Taha Ramafi, which is a collection of two novellas in the Shadow Me series. They take place after book number four and book number five. So I've read those as well. I read those this month. So I'll be talking more about those in my wrap up at the end of the month. So those are all the books I bought myself. There's not very many, but that's good because I'm getting my TBR down a little bit. Okay, now moving on to the book that I received from Bloomsbury and that is The Austin Girls by Lucy Worsley. This is a YA sort of fictional retelling with a twist <laughs> it basically follows the two nieces of jane austen and it sort of follows their quests for love but they also take into account that their aunt jane has never been married and she seems to be as happy as can be this just seems so fun and so cute and so different like i've never read or heard about a book that follows the nieces of jane austen um, it's always about jane austen herself so this one is already out in the UK, it came out on the 2nd of April, but the Australian and New Zealand editions come out on the 19th of May. So thank you so much to Bloomsbury, I'm very much looking forward to this, it looks adorable. Okay, moving on to Alcrate. Alcrate is kind enough to send me their boxes every month, I love them with my whole heart and soul. So we have the books from the last two months. So first we have All the Stars and Teeth by Adolin Grace. It follows a princess, a pirate, a stowaway and a mermaid and that's all I really know. Yeah, it's about a princess that's forced to flee, there's dark magic on the rise, she could lose the crown forever. Oh, gasp. This looks really really cool and really really fun and it is 
gorgeous. Then we have The Kingdom of Back by Marie Lu. This is also an absolutely stunning edition. It has gilded edges, a map, and a lovely indentation on the front. This is a historical reimagining following Mozart's sister, I believe, who was very much overlooked in history, even though she was probably just as talented of a musician as her brother. I think it's also got fantasy elements from what I have heard, but I've heard this is phenomenal. Very excited to read this. I love historical stuff, so very keen. And also I was lucky enough to receive the March Our Crate Junior box and the book in that box was City Spies by James Ponty. This looks so fun. This follows like a ragtag team of kids um, it has lots of diverse characters and they've been picked up by the government. It says operating out of a centuries old manor house on the coast of Scotland, the city spies are five kids from around the world. When they're not attending an elite boarding school, they're training for their roles as the biggest secret in the British secret intelligence service. It sounds so fun. Also Blackie's come to join us. Hello. He's not having it. <laughs> okay, and the last stack of books were actually gifted to me by the lovely Amanda from my Amazon wishlist. I'm so grateful. I've already read some of these and I'm excited to get to the rest. So first we have Flying Witch Volumes 1 and 2. And even though I've only read the first two volumes, this is like one of my favorite manga series of all time already. I'm so obsessed with it. We follow our main character who is a young witch and she goes to live with some distant relatives and she has a familiar, a black cat, I mean, same. And it sort of just follows her adventures and her mishaps <laughs> as a young witch and it's just adorable. There's also an anime but I've never watched it and I really do want to but I'd love to read all the volumes that are out first. Oh, I just love these so much. The other book that I've already read from this stack is Are You Listening by Tilly Walden. This is easily one of my favorite books I've read all year so far. It is a graphic novel and it is so stunning not only in the art style but also in the story itself and the messages. So basically we follow two queer characters as they go on a road trip together and on this road trip they find this magical cat and they decide they have to find this magical cat's home so they sort of take a detour and try and get this cat home but weird things start happening to them along the way and they find themselves also turning to each other to heal from things that have happened to them in their past and it is just gorgeous. Five stars. Read this. <laughs> okay, and the last two books that were gifted to me, I have not read yet, but I'm so looking forward to all of them. First, we have The Tiger's Daughter by K. Arsenault Rivera. This is an Asian-inspired fantasy. I believe it's female-female, but I'm not too sure on that. Basically follows these two warrior women as they try to save their world and become legends or they will die trying. I've heard that the representation in this is not the best, but that the story itself is really, really good. So I'm really excited to check this out and see for myself. Then we have Once in Future by Corey McCarthy and Amy Rose Capetta. This is a YA reimagining of the King Arthur tale, but every generation uh, King Arthur is reincarnated and this time it's a girl. And this is set in the future and I'm pretty sure it's set in space. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. And lastly, we have a YA contemporary called Anger is a Gift by Mark Ashiro. I have been wanting to read this for the longest time because I've heard that the anxiety representation is so good. Oh, sorry, Blackie. Oh my gosh, the stack of books just fell on Blackie. Are you okay? Anyways, this follows a black teenager who lives in America. I believe it also um, focuses on grief, but again, just heard phenomenal things. Marcus Shiro is so great as a human, so I'm sure that uh, his book is just as good. And that is it. Those are all the books I've acquired in the last couple of months. Thank you so much to Bloomsbury and Alcrate and Alcrate Jr. and Amanda. I probably won't have another book haul for another few months because again, I'm not acquiring that many. But that's good. Quality over quantity. You know what I mean? Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new one. Bye!